So good morning, everyone. Welcome to this uh, last day of this uh, conference, this meeting. Uh, my name is Massimo Vergasola. I'll be chairing this, uh, this last session. And uh, very much has been said on uh, Christoph uh, this day. So I'd like to share just a few personal notes uh, of what I uh, live with him. In particular, one thing that uh, it's unpublished and it's probably unknown. And uh, the first time I met Christoph is uh, uh, it was it was the time of the passive scaler 95 I think 1995 probably and uh, they just published the paper on uh, zero modes and uh, I was uh, calculating the uh, the uh, anomalies in the model of uh, of magnetic field the, the analogous of the Kreitman model but with the magnetic field and contrary to the case of the passive scalar there's some geometry because the magnetic field carries a vector and therefore there's an anomaly of the second order and I was calculating that. I sent the preprint to Christoph, and uh, Christoph told me that he was uh, pretty much doing the same thing with uh, with uh, Denis uh, Bernard, who's sitting here and is smiling because he remembers the story. And uh, and Christoph, what he did is uh, he said, "Okay, no, you know, you, you've done it better," which I'm not sure it was the case. And he said that uh, we're gonna, I'm not going to publish this. Not only he didn't publish the paper, but he invited me to the HS, and that's how we started and we met. Uh, so that's my first encounter, and uh, I can only stress that whenever I hear stories about priorities, this, this comes to mind, and then the more I hear, the more I'm impressed. Uh, after that, we started collaborating, and uh, I, I went several times to EHS, uh, in particular the work on uh, spontaneous stochasticity and the compressible Kreitland model was a real pleasure to, to do. And uh, while Greg was talking the other day, I, I was imagining uh, throughout his talk, I didn't get too distracted, but I, I, I imagined Crystal sitting in the audience and smiling at the energy by which you're carrying the spontaneous stochasticity. Uh, ahead, and and then of course we had the review of modern physics with Grisha. I don't want to steal anything from from him, but we had many <coughs> occasions in Mallorca, in uh, Arava Desert, uh, and uh, <coughs> and uh, the only thing I'd like to share is the time that Antti and Christoph came to my place in uh, Nice at the time, I think, and. Uh, they engaged in one of their favorite discussions. At the time, my wife didn't know them, so she got a little bit worried. And uh, I only said, don't worry, it's like two brothers, so uh, there's no problem. They, they get along very well. And you know, what, next time, the only thing we'll do is that we'll invite uh, Grish as well. So you'll see the two of them fighting now together on the other side against, uh, against Grish. It's, it's guaranteed. And uh, this com <clears throat> comes to mind because uh, I'm still reading to my third daughter, Asterix and Obelix. So whenever I see all these fights and all these rambles in the, in the village, in the Gauls village, I think of this, uh, of this discussion. After the review, I, uh, I didn't uh, publish papers with Christoph, but we stayed in close contact. And whenever I had something to discuss, uh, uh, I, I called him. We discussed about when I went to Rockefeller. Uh, we uh, almost, we went together in uh, uh, Grand Canyon, we almost got shot together because uh, there was a car which was uh, slow and uh, with my Italian driving style I was to pass so he probably got nervous and when we managed to pass the guy made an exhibit of uh, southwestern culture and he showed us a gun. Um, so I'm uh, very emotional to with Christoph, um, and uh, our last conversations were the spring and the fall. We were talking about our daughters. Both of them seem to be very beautiful, but also very rebellious. So we were talking about this. And uh, as with many of you, I'm sure, it's very much in my thoughts, in my mind. I always uh, <clears throat> often think of what he would say, uh, and I think of what yeah, he would suggest. So. I think it's time, we would say that it's time to stop and to uh, let Grisha talk. Uh, thank you, Grisha. 